Kohleth, Ecclesiastes 10. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So does a little folly in him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walks by the way, his wisdom fails him, and he says to everyone that he is a fool. If the ruach of the ruler rise up against you, leave not your place, for yielding pacifies great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, as an error which proceeds from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He that digs a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaks at a hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso removes stones shall be hurt therewith, and he that cleaves wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the edge, then must he put to more strength, but wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow him will swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? The labor of the foolish wearies every one of them because he knows not how to go to the city. Woe to you, O land, when your king is a child and your princes eat in the morning. Blessed are you, O land, when your king is the son of nobles, and your princes eat in due season, for strength and not for drunkenness. By much slothfulness the building decays, and through idleness of the hands the house drops through. A feast is made for laughter, and wine makes merry, but money answers at all things. Curse not the king. No, not in your thought. And curse not the rich in your bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry at the voice, and that which has wings shall tell the matter.